stay there. So I wanted to do, I've been trying to do a video for, man, <laughs> for like four days. <laughs> All right, so I'm trying to do a video for like four days. And every time I come outside or I'm ready to come outside, it starts to rain. So I wanted to show progress. And actually the progress I can, you can see more. Park my daughter. You, the progress you can see more just because um progress you can see more just because they came and they actually cut the lawn so they cut the lawn but it's been raining so so hard to where you see all of this right here this is dirt <laughs> it's raining so hard it's kind of like it was flooding the yard too so this is all over the yard Anyway, this is the uh, this is the same thing as it was. I would have not been able to come out here and do anything really, but they did weeded, you know, everything here. They did weeded, so I was able to I can show you here just a little bit. But all of this was clear very very clear and i was so happy about this that i've gotten this far so happy i want to show you guys that part um it just man it just seems like so much <laughs> so much to do they i see they cut a little bit when they weed eat it they cut a little bit of these weeds i will still have to dig those up because that can still turn into um it can still turn into more of these so all of this is, has to come up will i make it all a flower bed a part of my flower bed probably not but at least it won't go back but i did see i um did see online someone that has a large backyard uh, it's not as large as mine but they did a larger I would say a larger flower bed than I'm doing and that was inspiring <laughs> so um that's pretty much it um I will I will come to an update I don't know if you can hear that it is about to rain again my daughter just woke up from a nap and I'm like I have got to get outside <laughs> I have got to get outside and do a video I've been busy so um if you have not seen my um um actually i think i put it in comments on another video or so but i will i'm, I'm not i haven't been doing any descriptions um on my videos which i should start doing that um but anyway i've been really busy because i've been um I sell skincare products and there's a time when I was growing my own like, basil and parsley and aloe and things like that for my skincare brand. And now I'm able to purchase those things, but that was one of the things that I was doing for my garden, like in my garden is growing the actual herbs that I need for my natural skincare line. And it's Maggie Hughes, M-A-G-G-I-E-H-U-E-S um, dot com. So if you guys want, you can check that out. Um, but I've been really busy with that and that is super exciting to me. So either way, just wanted to kind of say that. That's why I've been busy um, and I've been doing a lot with that. So I am going to show you guys what's going on over here all right it does look like i mean literally i was gonna come out here and um water yesterday but it was ridiculous it rained so hard it's been raining like this um probably every day for the last week since the last time i did a video <laughs> um but when i tell you it rains because it's so hot it's so hot here. Um, 
and it's like about a hundred I mean 90 in the high 90s but it feels like <laughs> feels like it's 100 degrees 100 over 100 1 110 but it's super super hot so these are my Greek oregano actually I've been making meals by putting these herbs in it and really when you use uh, fresh herbs it tastes off the charts it tastes amazing just like it's a restaurant I'm so serious. It tastes just like a restaurant. It's so good. But um, yeah, this eggplant just started coming back and living its best life. So I'm just going to let it. <laughs> and um, oregano, basil. I pulled up these green onions, but maybe the roots or something got in down in it and doesn't want to let it go. Don't want to let life, life in. So <laughs> I'm just letting it do what it do. I do have maybe about 40 more brand new scallions that I need to plant. Um, but I'm gonna do those in buckets. I'm gonna choose one of these buckets to do and um, to do the scallions in because I can't eat scallions <laughs> on my diet. Actually, I'm now doing a low FODMAP diet. If It's like a low fermentation diet pretty much me being like um having different diets like vegan and um what else me having like being a vegan at one point pescatarian and plant-based um and mostly i've been plant-based hey oh mostly i've been plant-based hold on oh it is a mosquito trying to get my baby okay you okay baby yeah okay so i think we went hit on out but um either way i'm trying this low fodmap diet and this has not been up to me <laughs> it has been up to my doctor but i can i had to stop a lot of foods it's probably better that i tell you what i stop eating rather than what i'm currently eating <laughs> or actually no what i'm currently eating rather than what I stopped eating because I stopped eating a lot of things. Um, if you've ever heard of that, you can look it up. It's low FODMAP, F O D M A P um, diet. So it basically cuts a lot of the starchy carbohydrates. So it basically cuts the starchy carbohydrates, carbohydrates, however you say that, in your diet. And um, it helps reduce. All the bloating that you have and the low FODMAP diet is a diet that um, you use or you get on when you have like IBS but I don't have IBS it's just that I was having so many um, beans and um, starchy veggies like broccoli and cauliflower in my diet um, it just was an overload so I cut so much stuff out, sugar and everything. I lost five pounds, which is great. <laughs> but it was um, it was a bit much. It's a bit much, but I am so grateful. Thank you, Jesus, that <laughs> that it um, it reduced all the pain that I had. Now I'm just like discovering like what I can really eat. And I'm adding slowly now, after a couple of months, now adding things back into my diet to um, see what I can tolerate. And I am tolerating a lot of things that I thought I wouldn't. So I'm really happy for that. Um, either way, um, yeah, so that's why I am going to be growing different things. Um, so I still can grow scallions because number one, I still can season my food <laughs> with scallions and I, um, onion, but not actual onions, like yellow onions, red onions, white onions. Um, I cannot use that. So that's that on that. And um, yeah, so I'm super, 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 super excited. You okay, babe? 
<laughs> okay, so I'm super excited about that. But on a different note, let's get back to garden stuff. All right, so with the garden, my plans right now are to um, I have plans to continue the to continue my gardening and um, choosing different things that I can eat, which I'm slowly putting that back into my diet. So my family still eats everything else, which is great. So I feel like I don't need to deprive them of <laughs> certain veggies and certain herbs. So um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that. I'm, I wish I could tell you more of what I'm going to start growing, but um, I just found out, you know, I'm slowly figuring out what I can eat again by doing a lot of research, plus seeing my, uh, seeing a, a dietitian. So yeah, I'm excited to go on this new journey and figure it out. So yeah, baby. Daddy, daddy, daddy. You want a snack? Oh no! What happened to your What happened to your game? Playing PBS games on Daddy's iPad. Either way. Go that thing? Yeah, that that iPad. Oh man! <laughs> All right, so this is gonna end this video here. Um, that was just an update. It has not rained yet, so. Man, I wish I could really get out here and just uh, let's get out here and plant things and get the garden going. But the weather, but the weather is having its day, and I'm okay with that. So I will see you guys on the next video.